In today's video, we're going to be covering the two most commonly used food colors in baking. The first would be gel color, and this is a water-based color. And the second is candy color, and this is an oil-based color. Let's talk a little bit about what these colors can be used for and what you can expect to achieve when using these colors. Gel-based colors can be used in American buttercreams, fondant, royal icing, gum paste, and if you don't have liquid colors, then you can use these in batters and doughs and they will mix in very well. With gel colors and water-based colors, you can achieve a very vibrant and bold color. Here we have some American buttercream that was colored with our lemon yellow gel color. And you see how bright that is. And a little bit goes a long way with these. So you always want to start with just a drop and then add more as you go because these colors are very, very strong. When it comes to candy colors or oil-based colors, these work great with products that contain a high fat and oil content. So if you are coloring a Swiss meringue buttercream, that is a buttercream with a very high fat content. So you want to make sure you use oil-based color versus gel-based color. And what's going to happen is the oils and fats in our oil-based color will bond with the fats in your Swiss meringue buttercream, for example. If you were to use color gel in your Swiss meringue buttercream, the water is actually repelling and not bonding, properly bonding with the fats in your buttercream. You're going to notice that even if you use a whole bottle, you're still not going to achieve the desired color. So you want to go ahead and use an oil-based color so that you can achieve that beautiful bright color that you like. Here's an example of a high fat. This is a Swiss meringue buttercream and we use the color lime, which is an oil-based color and we can easily achieve the color that we're looking for without using a lot of product. Oil-based colors or candy colors are also great to use in candy melts, chocolate, and candy. Here is some white chocolate that we colored with oil-based candy color. And as you can see, the consistency is nice and smooth. And that's exactly how chocolate should be when you add color. Okay, now I'm going to show you what could happen if you were to add water-based colors to your chocolate. Here we have some chocolate that we added orange gel color to and it caused the chocolate to curdle and seize. If you're going to be creating some cake pops, you want to make sure that you're using candy colors to achieve the color that you are looking for without ruining your chocolate. These are just a few of the colors that we carry at Big Deco. We carry a variety of brands and different coloring options. If you guys have any questions about our products, make sure to drop a comment in the comment box and make sure to like and subscribe for more content.